Well, just connected this inverter to my 24 volt batteries. Here you see it's connected to the charger, so solar panel, and it's really smoky. <laughs> Made some funny noise, and then poof. Here you can still see the smoke. Well, maybe you didn't. You you can't see it now, but. It's off, man. It's dead. This one is dead. So, actually, I bought, I ordered two of these inverters. So now I'm going to open the other one. Try to, to do it with one hand. So, oh, th this one came with a plastic with nylon. This one didn't. So, let's see, maybe. Maybe this one would work. Yeah, well, I need two hands, so maybe not. Okay. And try to do it like this, maybe. <laughs> I will connect the wires. It's kind of crocodiles, you see. We're going to do a live test. 24 volts. You see, it's 24 to 220 volt. Basically. Well, now this is the red wire. Go to the red. Black one. The minus. Battery minus. really tight okay now let's make sure it's off zero the black wire okay you see, this is the minus, actually. I can check with the voltmeter to show you. It is 24 volt system. I put... <laughs> can you hold it, please, here? Please, please, hold it. Okay. Okay, it's actually, it's charging now by the solar system, so 27.2 volt, it's a regular charging voltage for this battery pack. So, it is a proper voltage for this inverter to run, no problem, 27.1, okay. Now we know that we have the right voltage. Black wire, connected to the minus okay here it is and red let's see first if okay no no boom <laughs> so this one okay we have green light hallelujah Let's start it. Make some bzzz, I think. The green is on. Okay, let's see AC power. Let's see if we have the, the right 220 volts. Yes, we do. Oh, uh, hmm, uh, what, what, what? Huh, where is the 220? <laughs> okay.
Oh man. Oh. It's well. Two ten. Hmm, maybe my fingers here. I will try to stabilize it. Well, my friend, it gives two. It's really not stable. Something is definitely wrong with this one. I'm not moving and it does that. Well, yeah. Jumps, stops and start. I am holding it like really tight and I don't know man. Don't know if to connect it to something. I'm afraid it will destroy my equipment. No, no, something is wrong with this inverters. It's really so low, bad quality, my friends. Don't use these inverters. Don't buy and don't sell these inverters. No. Like, I will show you the box. The Ah, yes, it's a uh, UKC technology, yeah. 1000 watts. If I will have 500 watts, I will be happy. For now, I don't know if to connect something, but maybe we do some test. We see if it works. Okay, let's try. I have this cable here. Let's do it. Okay, I connected it. Let's go and try to... Okay, this is my fan, really big, nice fan. Plug it from the wall. Okay, the connection is on. Now we start it. Whoa! It can't start the fan, man. Bing! That's it? It's dead? No way. Who? This fan is about 350 watts. I can't see the, the, the numbers because I painted. <laughs> but I can do a small test to see when I plug it to the, to the wall and I can check the watts. But anyway, it's dead. Like it gives the start and pluck, dead. Some red talk about well it is the power red and green and it's not hot let's check the AC no AC okay no AC I will turn it 
on again. Do we have some AC? Yeah, now we have well the same AC. It's it's picking. It's two o well ten and stop and jump. Uh, yeah, definitely there is some problem with this inverter. Well, phew, my friend, this is two inverters, new one, that doesn't work. It's dead, it's totally no use, you can't use it. So, please don't buy. I will, uh, I will publish some details about where I bought it and first we see if the store will do something about it. So, for now, bye bye.